What is up? Matthew Moore here for Space Jump. <laughs> Today we have a little bit of Twitter beef between a couple producers, the two notable ones being Zed and Diplo. We're going to be focusing on that today for a couple reasons that we're going to get into right now. So let's start with how this all began. Max Van Jelly, Moroccan DJ, a couple releases on size, um, and then maybe like a spinner release or two. Not a very notable producer. Definitely in the game and definitely has been around, but um, I didn't know about him until these tweets came out. This dude has a song with Timmy Trumpet out right now, so maybe this is just publicity for this. And one thing to know about this guy is he does this to many DJs on Twitter. He seems to be a pretty erratic sort of guy, and Diplo was in the line of fire. But let's read the tweet here. By the way, the biggest pussy dick in the game. Oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna swear, so <laughs> let let letting y'all know is Diplo. I fly out to Hong Kong to support your pussy ass show and open for you, and all you give me is oh cool, fuck off you clown ass bitch girl left your ass for a reason. My favorite part of this tweet is the fuck off you clown ass bitch. Like how how much just flagrant insulting this guy feels like he has to do because he was ignored by someone that's fairly busy may not even know who he was um especially if he you know opens like you know at like 6 7 p.m like that first guy is not necessarily diplo's not saying hey max vangeli come through we need we need that support that's definitely the venue calling you or whatever so there's no reason why Diplo should know who you are. Let's just forget Max Vangeli for now because I think he might be just doing this for publicity, so let's ignore him. But the very interesting part that really sets off this Zed Diplo beef is Zed saying 100% truth. Zed's basically saying, Diplo, you ignore any everyone under you, especially, I'm assuming, in the EDM DJ scene because... I think Diplo for sure tries to have his likeness associated with the young hip hop acts. Basically anything except a Moroccan European DJ like Max Vangeli or a German producer like Zed. So then we get in the weeds a little bit and Diplo replies with, come on, Billboard, I need some spicy beef. I already put this guy in a coffin two years ago when he made a song with Walgreens or a tampon company or whatever it was. And here's the thing, though. Like, if there was one more person in this beef, like a meek type, you know, someone a little bit more underground, someone I could root for that was a little bit more legitimate uh, repping that EDM jersey, then I would be rooting for that guy. But right now, I just have two people that I've been sort of lukewarm on for the past couple years go at each other because really all Zed has is his pop records and if we just go to Diplo's page, I mean, he's got Silk City with Mark Ronson um, and then also LSD with Labyrinth. So he doesn't really produce any of the electronic records himself entirely which is basically what Zed's doing as well, is Zed's getting a lot of help on his production. And, damn, dude, Zed, he's got a lot of music. Um, and then on his album California, essentially all hip-hop records. And if you just go to any given credits, you're going to get produced by Van Day Beats or one of other or whoever other of his hip-hop friends to help him out on the production on those. So both of them don't necessarily produce either EDM or produce the music themselves necessarily. And I will say that Dipple has paid his dues with Mad Decent. Um, that Mad Decent, Diplo in the mix, guest mixes are always good to watch and always give people good spotlight. But, but they're both pretty mediocre and I really just don't want to root for either of them. And now we have... This tweet, 7.16 in the morning in Paddington, London. I'm going to give Zed 24 hours to delete his Twitter account or I'm going full push a T on him. If you're not aware, 
Pusha T made a diss track at Drake where Pusha T said that Drake had a baby and he was hiding it, called out his girl, and called out his whole family. So I'm a little confused by this tweet. I think Dip was trolling because what dirt could you have on Zed that like we don't already know? Like for example, we already know the middle's made by these two guys based on this, what is it, the New York Times? New York Times, how it's made song. I'm not going to play the audio, but basically the whole song reveals. Zed comes in like halfway through the video. is like, yeah, I put on vocals on it. It was great, but these guys produced it. And there's also a songwriter. And then Marin Morris comes in a little later. So we already know that Zed doesn't isn't necessarily producing his own music. And then we also know that the Selena Gomez relationship was fake. So I don't think Dipple's gonna call out Zed's girl. So it just seems very silly that Dipple's saying he's gonna go push a T on Zed when I just generally don't have any idea what Dipple could say. We already know Zed's been that pawn for his record label and that he doesn't necessarily do much for his boys gray if we look six million <laughs> if you if you produce on a song with six million listens make sure you have <laughs> at least 330,000 followers not 33,000 because I don't know how you make number one charting tracks and have so little, so few followers on your music. So this is the one thing that somewhat interests me because right now I'm really not on Diplo's side because uh, Diplo to me is the 50 cent of EDM. He's just ultra petty, very active on social media. He's not doing necessarily the most, but he's still kind of active as far as the music goes. But if some hilarious has come out and Zed is actually clowned big time, I'm actually going to be on Diplo's side. What do you guys think of this beef? Whose side are you on? I'm curious if you're sick of Diplo's antics at this point or you think someone actually needs to really accuse Zed openly of being sort of that record label pawn that is kind of apparent based on his past music videos, releases, and the very manner he releases music. So that's all on the Zed and Diplo Beef at the moment. New reaction video coming this Friday. I'll see you guys next time.